Sketchable is a Windows drawing app. It's designed for tablets from the ground up, and spoilers, it's probably my favorite Windows drawing app. There's a free version available in the Windows App Store that you can check out, but I'm gonna be taking a look at this app once you've purchased all the premium features for it. This app is gonna work on any Windows PC, but like I said before, it is designed for touchscreen tablets, and so I'm gonna be reviewing this on my Surface Pro. One of the great things about the Surface Pro is that it is a Windows tablet, so you can run anything on it, any drawing program you want, full-blown Photoshop, full-blown Clip Studio. I can run any drawing app my cold black heart desires. So if you can run all that stuff, why would you get something that looks and feels more like a scaled-down iPad app? Well, one of the things I love about the iPad is that I can pick up an app like Procreate and I can just open it and start drawing. There feels like there is almost no learning curve to it. It is so simple and easy to jump into. And I think that is incredibly fun to draw with something like that. And when I jumped into using the Surface, I found that a lot of apps just were kind of cumbersome because they had uh, added touch features on top of what already existed. These are apps that were designed and refined over the years to work incredibly well with a mouse and a keyboard. And there are times where I just want to tuck the keyboard away and just start drawing. And with Sketchable, the developers wanted to create something that you could use without a keyboard that was just a pick up and use sort of drawing app, kind of like a digital sketchbook for the Surface. And thinking about Sketchable as a sketchbook is a really good way to go about looking at it. And even though it's not as fully featured as some of its older desktop brothers and sisters, it still has most of the key features you're gonna need for a great drawing experience. You could tell that a lot of the features that were included in Sketchable uh, were designed around a lot of the problems that illustrators, people like me, were having with drawing apps when they were using them on a touch screen. Changing your brush size in Photoshop, not fun. Changing your brush size in Sketchable, fun. Well, maybe not fun, but easy, much, much easier. On any brush, you can slide left or right to increase the brush size, and instead of showing you a pixel number, it physically shows you how wide that brush is going to be. If I slide my finger or pen up and down on that brush, it changes its opacity. When I'm drawing, I can hide all my tools away, so all that I see is the canvas, so it's just like me drawing on a digital piece of paper. And all the basic tools that you would expect from any drawing tool are present and accounted for. There are layers and you can change the opacity of those layers or the blending mode on those layers. There's a whole bunch of preset brushes that it comes with and the color picker comes in multiple flavors. I like the color picker that looks like a little ninja throwing star. All your brushes are lined up along the bottom of the app so you can select one just by tapping on it and if you tap again your option palette is going to come up. I can make a new brush from scratch or I can modify any of the existing brushes and there are a lot of options once you get into the editing mode. I like the brushes, especially the brushes I was used for coloring and shading and some of the textures that I was playing with. The one thing that I never really got specifically the way that I wanted it to work were the ink brushes, however. I like my brushes to taper like at the end and I also like brushes with a wide range. So if I press light, I get a really thin line and if I press a little harder, I'm gonna get a wider line. There's definitely pressure sensitivity in this app, of course, but the range of that pressure sensitivity on the ink brushes just wasn't quite as wide as what I like it to be. I should also point out that other artists who have used my iPad and played with my brushes are like, dude, these are way too sensitive. I don't know how you use this. So this might be one of those preferences that only I care about. I should also point out that it might be one of those things that I can adjust. There are a lot of brush editing options here. I just never figured out the combination of things that I needed to make the perfect brush. There's also a button dedicated to flipping your uh, canvas back and forth so you can see if your drawing has the amount of balance that you're looking for. I also like tapping this over and over again to the beat of my music. There's also a little tool here that lets you draw asymmetrically. I never really thought about having a tool like that before, but now that I know it exists, I'm probably going to use it. But talking about just the features that Sketchable has doesn't really do this app justice. Sketchable isn't doing anything that other Windows drawing apps haven't been doing for years. It's just the way that they're all put together that makes it a much fresher and better experience. And one of the best things here is it just feels fast and snappy because it was designed for the Surface and other Windows tablets. Zooming and rotating with your fingers is super smooth and fast. I can jump into any part of my drawing or do some detail work from any other part. It just feels good. It's little things like that that make an app fun to draw in. 
And sure, I can do any of this in Clip Studio or Photoshop, but it's been added after the fact, and so it's not like buttery smooth, and sometimes it's kind of chunky, or you're watching it reload. It's a feature that's added on instead of being core to the experience. And I think that really summarizes what I like the most about this app. And don't get me wrong, I still love Photoshop. I'm still going to continue to draw in Photoshop. Photoshop still has its place, but when I just want to sketch and draw for fun on the surface, this is it. Now, of course, I mentioned this in my iPad video as well. When you get that level of simplicity and elegance, you're also giving up some of the power features. For example, in Sketchable, you're not going to have a text tool or a shape tool or a lasso tool and some of those things that you might be relying on in your particular kind of art. You're also going to run into other things like resizing your document at times could be kind of awkward. Sketchbook is designed around this idea of a digital sketchbook. So if I want a different size canvas, I need to actually go out and create a different size sketchbook. And I think this really emphasizes the idea that is a, a sketching and drawing app and not like a finished final artwork sort of app. I've been using Sketchable for about a year now. I've seen it grow up a lot. In fact, just in the last couple weeks, they've added a new UI. Over the course of the last year, they've added a lot of new features. So I wouldn't be surprised to see more and more of the features that some people might consider to be missing uh, slowly make their way into the app. One of the downsides of having a young app is that the community isn't quite as strong as it is around some of the more established drawing programs that are out there. There aren't that many posts on the forums for people who need help, and the help section itself consists of uh, a handful of videos. And so it's often hard to kind of dig through and find out how some of these features work and find out about some of the more nuanced elements of the program. So overall, I definitely think Sketchable is worth a look. If you want to get the premium version, there are a handful of in-app purchases, so you could just buy chunks or just buy brushes. I think if you want to buy everything at once, last time I checked, it was about $12. And of course, if you have any comments or questions about this app, let me know down in the comments, or you can hit me up on Twitter anytime you want. And if you enjoy my videos and find my reviews to be useful, please consider giving on Patreon. That's all I got for now. I'll see you guys in a week or two.